For the top of the R news, DLSU SHS SCN Scope opens the final day of Sterling. Grade 12 ABM students meet in person. Sterling, a year end event comes to a close. News from the freedom of the press. Truth, power, the voice of the Filipino masses. This is the Animo Exclusive. Good afternoon, Philippines. I am Ingrid Bote, delivering today's latest news. DLSU SHS SC and Scope opens the final day of Sterling. Here is Denia Agustin to tell us the full story. The last program of the Sterling event dedicated to the 120 ABM students commenced this afternoon on the first day of July. The finale was hosted by Rafi Del Villar and Rafi Rodriguez, who began the program with their opening spiel. Games and performances were also witnessed from Anibu, Cora Lasariano, and Pop Ensemble. Winners from the raffle were also announced on the same day. Canvas tour led by the LAM organization also occurred as the last activity of this program. This has been Daniel Gassin, Bridging Service and Information. Grade 12 ABM students meet in person. Here's Joseph Cano for the details. The graduating batch of ABM students meet in person for the very first time since the beginning of their senior high school life. Here we have our fellow Lasallians to tell us about their thoughts. Good morning everyone. Here we have right now an ABM student. Please state your name. Hi, I'm Juliana Olazo. Well, Juliana. How does it feel right now being with your whole stat strand since the start of SHS? Um, Shepard, it's very different from what we see. Lalo na, I was home and in my room lang for two years now. So, makakasama po talaga sila, eh, pwede kayo mag-share ng pagkain, gano'n. Yun lang, we can laugh together in action. It's very fun. Yes, it's very different being with the people you have been for two years, for so long, here right now, physically. Well, that is all. Thank you so much for joining us here with, with The Animal. Good afternoon, and here we have right now an ABM student. Hello, my name's Eddie. Well, Eddie, can you share with us your most memorable experience in the Sterling event so far? I think honestly, my most memorable memorable event was like when going to the school because like my groups met up, and it was really confusing at first because like we didn't know how to talk, right? Because we just it's an online thing, right? And meeting your friends like real, like you know, face to face, it was it was something. It's hard to describe. It's like it's something memorable. There you go. It's really memorable and. I really love the event. Most memorable part was the events, the games. I was cheering for uh, him. He's my classmate. And yeah, you did a good job in the games. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Eddie. It really is really different when you meet your classmates for the first time yeah. in real life. Well, thank you so much for joining us, The Animal. Good morning, everyone. And here we have right now the host for the Sterling event day two. Please state your name. Hi, I'm Rafi Del Villar, and I am the host for ABM Day, which is day two. And uh, right now, I'm feeling exhausted. <laughs> well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's very hard to, to host an event such as this. So I have a question right now. Mm. Are there any insights that you have in ho hosting an event such as this, a first ever in-person event for the, for the ABM 120 students? Actually, it feels different when you're hosting uh, on-site because usually I host some mga webinars, some mga, ano, school events, but online. Lang. But like this time, it's a, it's a different feeling. No? It's exciting siya since you really have a crowd right in front of you. Siguro one insight that I got from this is that ano, you really need to know how to uh, communicate with the crowd when you host. Ka. And uh, for me, it's a, it's a very fun and very fulfilling experience when you host on-site. I'm pretty sure the crowd has given you some bits of energy and motivation even though you're already very tired from this very tiresome event. Well, thank you so much for that and thank I hope you. you enjoy the event as well. Thank you so much. Good afternoon everyone and here we have a student from ABMB. John Kailu, LEA Baradas. Wow. Well, I have a question. What was it like exploring the campus in person and what did you enjoy most about it? For me, the experience was so surreal, right? Because it's two years in the making of me thinking about what I would do when I get to La Salle. It, it, was, it was an amazing experience because I finally got to see, uh, I got to see what I missed out on for the yeah. past two years, you know? And 
uh, the best part has to be the people that I was there with, right? Because it was my blockmates and we all had fun, we all made jokes and it was very, it was very happy for me. Yeah. It really is different when you meet your classmates for the first time and being able to see the campus that you should have seen two years ago. Well, thank you so much for that and I hope you enjoy the rest of the event. We have heard it from our ABM 120 students that Sterling will truly be a remarkable part of their SHS journey. This has been Joseph Ryan Cano, Bridging Service and Information. Thank you, Joseph. Sterling, a year-end event comes to a close. Here is Chelsea Hunyosa for the report. Sterling, the year-end event comes to a close, marking the last day of the ID120 students. Micaela Rabaca, the outgoing student council president of DLSU SHS, expresses her gratitude to the working committee and students in her closing remarks. She emphasized the importance of the event, stating to absorb it all, take it in. The closing prayer and the singing of the La Salian hymn was led by Kirsten Misa, officially ending the Sterling event. This has been Chelsea Hunyasa, Bridging Service and Information. Thank you, Chelsea. That's all for today's latest news. For more information on the hottest news within and outside the DLSU Senior High School community, don't forget to like our social media pages, The Animal on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Once again, I am Ingrid Bote. In the name of public service, we uphold news from the freedom of the press. In the service of the Filipino masses, this is The Animal Exclusive.